this is, I mean, this question of, you know, is there a self, who am I, is probably the fundamental spiritual question. And it's fueled many traditions, Mahana Maharshi, many other teachers, wise people, explored that question. And at first sight, you know, it seems I have a self. I talk about I. You know, I am Peter Russell, I do this, etc. That's just a name I have, it's what I do, maybe part of my personality. Who is the me that has this name, that has this personality? When you start looking deeper and deeper and deeper, you start peeling away the layers of the onion. What you actually find is there's nothing there. There's no thing that we can identify which is the self. There's certainly this, we believe there is. When you look at it, what there actually is, there is experience. There is this experience that's going on now, my experience of you, the world around, and there's the things that are happening in my mind, my feelings, my thoughts, all of that is there. And there is this illusion that there is a thinker thinking them. That's where the illusion is. There isn't actually, when you look at it closely, there isn't actually a thinker thinking the thought. There can be the thought that there is a thinker thinking the thought. So you can have the thought, I am thinking this thought. But who is thinking that thought, that I am thinking this thought? When you look at it, there's no actual separate self function. There is just experience that's happening. And in that experience, very often, this created sense of self is another experience. I create this sense of me as a sense of meanness. But that's just another experience appearing in consciousness. So ultimately, there is no individual self. Yet, what we experience as meanness, the thing we call I, is not actually a thing, it's just awareness. And that is always with us. And it's that sense when we say, you know, I am, I can remember when I was five years old. There's a, that thread there. My personality, many things may be different from when I was five years old, but that sense of beingness has always been there. But that sense of beingness, what it's like for me to feel that sense of beingness, I think is exactly what it's like for you. When I take away my name, my personality, my characteristics, my history, my memories, all of that, and I just come down to what is this pure essence that is always there, it's just awareness. And I think that feeling of just awareness, beingness, is exactly what it's like for you and for every single person on the planet, every being in the universe. That sense of beingness is universal. And that's what sometimes people talk about as the universal self. It's something which we all have at that fundamental level.